look into the future, what do you see? I really need to know now, is there a place for me? If we're gonna survive, the dream must stay alive. Authorities are appealing for calm throughout the evacuation process. Justice wants you know. Next time, Celine, I expect you to bring something to trade. You ought to be more careful, young lady. People are pretty touchy about their space these days. Say nothing of their food. Off you go. Someone's got to own up soon. Maybe I should call another meeting. You know what I think? Give yourself a break and forget about it. How can I do that? The cupboard's locked, the food's safe. Forget it. Think about something else. Such as? Weddings. Huh. What sort of wedding would you have? I wouldn't. If it was me, I'd have it on the beach under the stars. You don't have weddings at night. Of course you can. You can have whatever you like. I'd have a huge bonfire. Flames roaring up into the inky blackness. And there'd be a warm breeze blowing. Sounds more like a hairspray commercial. Where's your sense of romance? My bride would sit down to a wedding breakfast of the finest delicacies. Oh, please. Which would be washed down by the best vintage champagne. Oh, yeah? What year? Now you're getting it. And afterwards, we'd sail away on our yacht to a tropical island where we would live on lobsters and coconuts. You only have to imagine it, and you can be there. Shut your eyes. No. Go on. Play a little. Now imagine this is a piece of the juiciest lobster you ever tasted. <laughs> You're so corny. Open wide. Mmm, lobster. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yum. <laughs> lobster? <laughs> I don't think she's used to such rich food. Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm fine. You've come at the right moment. We were discussing your wedding banquet. Oh, yeah? Tin beans? No. There's no way you're having a special day without a feast to remember for the rest of your life. It's a promise. If you say so, Sasha. Who might argue? Don't even try. Easy, there was lots. I reckon we're the only ones who've got a way of recharging these batteries. Oh, hi. Uh, Trudy's looking for you. I needed some fresh air. I was feeling a bit claustrophobic. Uh, can you uh, help me with this? <laughs> The tribal gathering has been a complete failure. How come? We came away with Sasha, didn't we? Do you think he'll stay with us? Oh, come on, Amber. You know you can't hide your feelings from me. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Did you think this is going to work? Of course it is. This time we made it right. Didn't we, Jack? As yes, you keep telling me. <sighs> Let's let her go. Why doesn't it? Wood. It's just that I mean it's been put together by an expert. Shut up. And work. Yes! It's working! Selene, I've been looking everywhere for you. I went for a walk. I wanted to be by myself, okay? All day? I had a rest as well. I looked in your room. Then it must have been while I was out, okay? Now where are you going? You're supposed to be on cleaning duty. 
I'll give you a hand. Why? So you can watch over me? The food store's locked, Trudy. What am I gonna do, break in with a crowbar? Celine, you asked me to help you. So I'm going to, whether you like it or not. What do you think of this for the wedding? Ryan chose it. Does Ryan like it? He thinks it's great. Then why not let him wear it? Yeah, why not? Guess who I saw Amber with, again. Mickey Mouse? No, Sasha. So? I think there's something going on between them. Good. It's about time somebody put a smile on that miserable cow's face. You can't just be glad two people are happy together. Like us? Like us. Speaking of us, I've decided I want a proper wedding feast. With real food. You don't ask for much, do you? There must be a way. Think. Hey, we could eat the chickens. Yeah, we could. What's that? Music, sir. But there aren't any batteries left, are there? <laughs> Hey, that's great. Well done. Woo! Dance? Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Quite please, um, I've got an important announcement. We've achieved the breakthrough we've all been waiting for. Wind powered electricity. Yeah. You could do some music for the wedding. Isn't it gonna be great? Yeah. I can smell the chickens roasting already. What chickens? The chickens. We're gonna use them for the wedding feast. You can't do that. They're our pets. They're only birds. They've got brains about the size of a pea. Amber, stop him. Don't let him. You're not killing the chickens, Lex. Says her. Forget it. I'll have beans. I don't care. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No need to quarrel. The ants are staring us in the face. So we take some berries to a farm and barter them for fresh food for the wedding. That way nobody eats the chickens. Cabbage. I'd really like some cabbage. Apples. Meat. <laughs> Fried onions. <laughs> hey, this isn't a trip to the supermarket. Strawberries. Just a minute. Aren't we forgetting something? What? Well, it's still pretty dangerous outside. Should we be thinking about taking these kind of risks just for a party? What do you mean, just for a party? Well, I can get extra things without anybody having to risk themselves. But you said that there's no more fresh stuff. So it'll be the same as always. It's all right out there if you know what you're doing, Bray. Are you saying I don't? No, I just think it'll be okay, that's all. Do you? What if somebody gets hurt? What happens then? I'm out there all the time. I know what I'm talking about. I'll go. I'm not scared. It's nothing to do with being scared. Really? Wait, wait. Let's not fight. Mm. Ray has a point. I had the idea. I should be the one to go. And if Lex wants to join me, so much the better. I could do with the extra muscle. Thanks, Sasha. There it is then. You happy, Bray? Sure. Do whatever you want. Well, there certainly isn't much here for a feast. Amber, I wasn't trying to upset Bray back there, you know. You said you were. I'm probably being nosy, but is there something between you two? You are being nosy. No, there isn't. Sometimes I get the feeling that I'm shitting on his toes. That's his problem. Toes too big, eh? I'm not shitting on yours, am I? No. You're quite sure about that? Yes. Only, I heard voices. I thought I'd come and check. We were just seeing what we could add to whatever comes back from the farm. We're not the mystery food thieves. Glad to hear it. Well, I, I think we're just about done here, and I've got a lot to do.
You like playing the hero, don't you? So what is it you got against me? We've got enough people to look after here. And I think you're starting to outstay your welcome. Do you now? Yes, I do. So after the wedding, you're out of here. Where's your sense of romance? Go on, play a little. Come on, Sasha. Life's too short. Couldn't sleep. Great. You can give us a hand on the roof. We're charging as many as we can while the wind's still up. Sure. Why me? Because someone has to stay behind and look after the place. Bray's not going. Bray's nerves are shattered. From all the risks he takes. Supposing Bray's right, though. We don't know what's out there, and Jack and Dell aren't going to be much use if there's trouble. Sasha can look after himself, though. Can he? I seem to have survived it to now. <laughs> Seriously, Bray, do you really think it's that dangerous? Oh, of course. It's terrifying. Look, what's your problem? Don't have a problem. I'm looking forward to a nice day out. Listen, I'm sure it'll be fine, Bray. Are you? And what are you going to do when the locos come along? Play them a song? Bray? Possibly. What would you suggest? It doesn't matter what he'd suggest. Because he doesn't want to come. Wrong. I am coming. You're letting him wind you up. No, I'm not. I know the land, I know the people. And I can negotiate. And we don't want Lex starting another riot. Then you can help us make the puppet, Sasha. Like you said you would. Yeah, for the wedding show. Ah. Uh, then it's decided. The big boys go. Well, we haven't been anybody dangerous yet. Still, better safe than sorry, eh, Brad? Did you see how quickly Sasha backed out when he was given the chance? I reckon you're scared all along. Do you think? Well, either that or he's up to something. Like what? Dunno. Maybe he just wanted some time with the girls alone. Well, they fancy him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see him dancing with Amby today? Yeah. What do you think, Brad? I think you're getting boring. Oh, dear. We'll have to play some music to cheer you up then. Please. Turn it off. Oh, what? Sorry, I can't hear you. Hey, it's my favourite CD. You trying to get us all killed? Sorry. Keep forgetting how risky it is out here. I'm glad you're here to remind me. Listen. Guys, look! There's a farm. <laughs> What's this all about? I don't know. It means female. Oh, wow. We'd better go and say hello then. The sun rises. And Chloe? And the flower opens. Very good. That's really coming on. Now off you go and meet the stars. Come on, Bob. <laughs> be very good with them. They deserve to be happy. None of us have had much fun lately. That's true. Including you. You do so much for everyone else. You deserve something for yourself. Thanks. You're a very special person, Amber. What is it? I'm sorry. What? It's crazy. There's no future in it. You're leaving soon, aren't you? Well, I never said I wasn't. So what are you trying to do to me? 
trying to make you happy. Me too. It's in short supply these days. By getting me to care about you and then leaving? That's not quite how I saw it. So how do you see it, Sasha? Another easy conquest for your magical charms? I'm sorry I upset you. You're the least easy person I know, Amber. Abakuni dogs are for a start, sweetheart. Mind your mouth, or I'll set them loose on you. Uh, really? You want to try your luck? Lex, cool it. I ain't afraid of her. Tough guy, eh? Alice! Oh, no. She's going to get Alice. I'm really scared now. What are you playing at? I ain't letting no kids speak to me like that. Do you want to trade with these people, or don't you? It's your wedding feast, Lex. The least you can do is be nice. Yeah, be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alice. Okay, I'll be nice to Alice. I'm glad to hear it. What do you want? We're trading batteries and stereo. I wasn't talking to you. What's your name? Lex. Don't let the smell bother you, boys. It's just manure. So how are you going to be nice to me, Lex? What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're a good-looking boy. Don't you think, Dawn? You'd have to be desperate. <laughs> Dawn's picky, but I'm not. So, what do you say? Not scared, are you? No. Well, then. I, I can't. I'm getting married. Oh. He's getting married. Isn't that sweet? Who'd marry a jerk like him? Some poor soul. <laughs> Don't wet yourself. I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, we could do with some music around here, so if you're wanting to trade, that's fine by me. And any funny business, I'll feed you to the pigs. You understand? Pigs? Hey, what's happening with those stars? We're helping KC. We'll do them later. No, do them now. Get them finished, eh? But the wedding's not until tomorrow. I know. But I think it would be better if we wrapped them up today. Really? Okay. Dal isn't finished with that. I know. It's good enough for me. Come on, action! Pig's worth more than four batteries. Six. Six batteries and 20 tapes. 20? I'll throw in 10 more sweet corn. That's my final offer. Okay. Deal. Deal. Happy wedding, Lex. I'm sure you make a wonderful husband. Anyone want a drink? What is it? Cider. Think you can handle it? Yeah, sure. Put hair on your chest. Look like you could use it. Thank you. Very nice. Not bad. You gonna throw that in? If you've got anything left, I want. Yeah, there must be something. Hold still. Hey, Rancid Flam, why didn't you show me this before? It's not for sale. It's mine, they're my favorite. No kidding. Mine too. I'll give you a gallon of cider for it. No way. Two. Go on, Lex. Take it or leave it. I'll go get your pig. Tell me something. Do you ever get troubled from the other game? No. You mean they don't come here? Sure they do. We trade. As long as they behave. What if they don't? Oh, they behave.
It's gorgeous. Do you think Lex will like it? Of course he will. It needs something at the front, though. Oh, I forgot. Are they real diamonds? Yeah. My mother gave it to me. It's my grandmother's. It must have cost a fortune. Will I be irresistible, I ask myself? Well, I don't think you'll be getting much resistance from Lex. <laughs> Idiot, take the booze back to your place and don't show any of the girls. What's wrong with sharing it? That was my CD. Lex! Oh, I'm oh. so worried. Oh, the smell. It's the countryside. It's what it's like. Wow. You should have seen me bargaining. That didn't stand a chance. You're so clever. What's in the sack? Ryan! Hold this. Lex! I love you! Hi, how'd it go? Fine. How was your day? Ever! Check this out. Hey, that's brilliant. Where's Sasha? You should see this. It was his idea. I don't know. I'll go and find him. I... I wasn't leaving without saying goodbye. You're going? So soon? I think I've outstayed my welcome. Is this because of, of what I said? I hurt your feelings. I shouldn't have done that. I'll live. No. There's one thing I'm expert at. It's knowing when the moment's come to move on. But what about the, the wedding and, and the kids' show? I sorted the kids out. I'm sure it'll go on without me. So is that it? Say goodbye to the others from me. I hate that stuff. Take care of yourself. You're a very special person. No. You're right the first time. There's no future in it. To hell with the future. There is nothing for me 